Hey, a plug and good evening, Royals fans. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a preview to our Reading Royals versus the Rooster Railers. As our Royals, after a great uh, road trip at 4 0 and 1, look to keep the winning ways going with Logan Fladell or Hayden Hawkey in net, who both were spectacular on the road trip against a very good surging Rooster Railers team who's been 6 2 and 2 in their last 10, and has been really creeping up the standings, one of the hottest teams in the ECHL, so this is not going to be an easy opponent to go against by any stretch of the imagination for our Reading Royals, so it's going to be interesting to see um, how quick uh, like the Royals were able to do in some of the games over the road trip, were able to make a pounce, the Royals had so many games in so many days, now they have rest, so it should obviously benefit our Reading Royals, but when it comes to the Rooster Railers, what makes them great is similar to our Royals. They have two netminders. <clears throat> when Kirill's down, we obviously have two netminders that way. Now with Fladell and Hawkey, we have two netminders. With them two, that do really well, and Ken Appleby's been very good when he's been in net for them this year, a 9-16 and a 3. Colts Genshin, Cole Nellis in 20 games, a 3-0-2, a 9-12. So they've been getting the good goaltending. And then they have one of the league's best veterans uh, when it comes to Jordan Smotherman, who leads their team in points um, at 39 points. And then Anthony Rapace, um, another good veteran, has 35 points. Tied with him is Hayhurst at 35 points. Then you have Nolan v Vesey at 30 points. Bodoin at 29. Tied for 25 is Coughlin and Olsen. So, and then Cole Koski also has 20 points. So this team has good scoring if you go all the way down to Callen has 13 and he's the last guy in the teens which would give them 12 people in the teens or above with three with four people being 30 points and above so they're getting very good depth scoring uh the Wooster Railers are and that's been a huge reason why they've been able to recover and come back their goaltending and their depth uh, scoring-wise, plus the fact that they also have uh, pretty good defensemen as well, like Fugelli, Colin, etc., etc., that are able to get it done for them, Obano as well. So they have a good team that had struggle bunny times in the season, and now they're starting to really get going, and that's the way that hockey especially is. Sports is like that, but especially our game of hockey, that when, if you're catching a hot opponent in the, in the wrong time, that's, you really have to step your game up, but the good thing for our Royals is they've been fantastic of late as well, 4-0-1 on a road trip against very hard team to beat, minus the Indy Fuel, that they took care of business and were able to get it done against the Walleye and the Wheeling Nailers, where those are two really hard group of teams to take three out of four points from or beat in two of two, where then they were able to take advantage of the Indy Fuel as they should, and that was a great win for them as well. I think in order to beat Wooster, since again, they have depth scoring, similarly to how they beat that Toledo in their last game, when it looked like they were a little bit more tired legs, which makes sense, you played so many games so many days, they really were able to jam them, play that good, kind of boring to watch at times hockey, but great jam defense that just allows you to get plays the other way, piss off the other team, frustrate the other team, which you could see happen with the Walleye, and if they are able to do that to the Wooster Railers, that's going to go in tenfold as my first key to the game for them to be able to have success early in this game and kind of just carry that throughout the rest of the hockey game tonight. The other thing is going to be get traffic in front. Um, both of their netminders, whether it's Appleby or whether it's Colton Ellis, similar to Hawkey and Fladell, if you don't get traffic in front, they're goaltenders that are very square to the puck and very sharp that are just going to make every save. So you got to be able to get the traffic on the front. Like Kirk McDonald always says, don't just throw pucks on aimlessly. And the Royals really have an effectiveness of being able to have done that lately, having the great traffic in front. We saw that with Lowe's goal after a Deshara shot over the weekend. So I think this team's playing great in all facets, in all cylinders. So are the Wooster Railers. So this is going to be one of, I think, the most fun games. Um, second to really playing the Walleye, because that might be a preview to the Kelly Cup this season because Wooster's coming in hot as a firecracker or Royals is hot as a firecracker. They want to stay in first place. Wooster wants to stay competing for a playoff spot. This game is going to be really fun. It's also a game, in conclusion, for Royals fans, you can win tickets to next week's game 
if the Royals win, you can win tickets to next Wednesday's game, so it's definitely a good game to come out to. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget to keep us growing to 215 by March 15th is the goal. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and go Royals.